Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama disc puzzle, which means I'm going to show you how you can separate those two silver discs in the most efficient, quickest way possible, and then how you can do the reverse to put them back into their original disc puzzle position. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled disc puzzle. The first thing we need to do is identify the Hanayama engraving on one side of one of the discs. It's a very, very faint engraving. You can probably see it as I shimmer or the light shimmers off it from here, but it is very small. And we want that engraving on the top disc as we are looking down on it in this position. From here, we're gonna separate the, uh, well, the two discs out into this starting position. And from here, I'm gonna keep these two discs in this orientation the whole time so that it's easy for you to see the top or one side of both of the discs at the same time. So you can make sure that you're in the right position as we're going through this. So from here, we're gonna start off with an anti-clockwise turn on the left disc. We're then gonna follow that with a right anti-clockwise uh, turn in this position. And then we're gonna repeat those two movements. So we've got anti-clockwise on the left, clockwise on the right. And the first checkpoint, if you like, is where we've got both gaps fit facing straight up as we are looking down on both discs from here. Uh, then we're gonna go two anti-clockwise turns on the left-hand side. We're gonna follow that with one clockwise turn on the right-hand side. And we're then gonna go back or clockwise two turns on the left side. Once you're in this position, we're gonna go one clockwise turn on the right disc. From here, we just need to go one more turn clockwise on the left. And this is sort of like checkpoint number two before we actually, before we get it apart. So we're, we're past the halfway stage now. And these are where we should have the gaps on both discs. Once we're in this position, we're gonna go two anti-clockwise turns on the right-hand side. And now we need to alternate between a clockwise turn on the left and anti-clockwise turn on the right. And then it just takes us one more clockwise turn in this position here to then separate the two discs from there. And for putting the discs back together, first of all, orientation wise, we're gonna do it in the same way. We're gonna have the, the disc with the honey armor engraving. First of all, the engraving is gonna be facing up the whole time. And it's also gonna be in, in this orientation relative to where the, the long gap is. Uh, we're gonna be putting it back together using these jagged edges. That is how we took it apart and that's how we're gonna put it back together as well. Now it is possible to sort of, to get them back together in this way, uh, but or the wrong way around. So make sure that when you are putting it back together, we're in this orientation here. So the, the gaps, if you like, are sort of running parallel with each other in this position in here. Once we're in this position, we're then gonna go one anti-clockwise turn on the left, follow that with one clockwise turn on the right, one more anti-clockwise turn on the left-hand side. Then we're gonna go two clockwise turns on the right-hand side. So we're in this position here. Next, we're gonna go back one anti-clockwise on the left, we're gonna go back one anti-clockwise on the right. And then we're gonna go two anti-clockwise turns on the left-hand side until we're in this position here. Then we go anti-clockwise once on the right. And then we follow that with one, or two, sorry, clockwise turns on the left-hand side. So that we end up back in this position with both of the gaps facing up as we're looking down on it from here. From here, we just need to go one uh, anti-clockwise on the right, one clockwise on the left, and repeat those two moves and we're back together. So we've got anti-clockwise on the right, clockwise on the left, and we can reassemble the disc puzzle just like that. 
So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama disc puzzle in the quickest way possible. Now, if you're halfway through solving the disc puzzle when you started this, you've also got the added challenge of identifying where you are in each piece, which, which might be a challenge in itself, but hopefully this has helped you solve the, the disc puzzle for yourself. If you do have any issues or any questions or anything, comment below and I will do my best to help you where I can. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me struggle through the disc puzzle for the first time or any of these other Hanayama puzzles, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.